They have prayer meeting at the church here tonight. Jimmy Jetro Prophet here. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> what do you get the shots of? Getting shot at, hey, you were in their prayer meeting tonight, right? Yeah. Well, you better pray for that sky. <laughs> oh, you see all the jet trails that do this almost every night, yeah. All the what? The jet trails. Oh, no, I didn't see that. Oh, yeah, every, almost every night you can see, 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 uh, we have a sky watching channel. People from all the world get hooked on this. Oh, wow. And now, in the winter time, the sun sets right by the nuclear power plant. See right there? Yeah, yeah. But as the sun goes along in the summertime, it's right there. So I follow it and I go to different spots. And, and what do you call them? Oh, well, they, some people call them chemtrails. They are chemical reactions with the sky from jet fuel, yeah. fuel and the environment and temperature and everything. But sky watchers, are, they're like a box of chocolates. You don't know which one have nuts in them. <laughs> That's what I, I say. I'm not going to argue with you. This is what Mother Nature is doing. Call, you know, God is doing. Mother Nature is doing this. This no, is. We, we would, we would, we were happy to have you do it. We prefer you say God is doing. It. Yeah, there yeah. There is no Mother Nature. Well, God's the Mother Nature. God's the Father. You know all that stuff. Yeah. You keep watching. You get hooked on it. Yeah. You can sometimes see 20 jet trails within 10 minutes, and you watch them 10 minutes later. Watch what they turn into. They used to dissipate. What do they look for? What do they turn into? That. That. See sky watchers and earthlings, see? See? Huh. That they coagulate. They don't always dissipate. All right, so we left that spot. But this is the angle where we're showing. But now I can show more to the left. See, still got some uh, jet trails sidewindering into the mix up there. So uh, they're having a prayer meeting at that church there where I sometimes, I sometimes sky watch. It's a prayer meeting night, Wednesday nights is usually what uh, Christian uh, Protestants do. I used to go to prayer meetings. And uh, so then a guy come around, he, I said, eh, call it God, Mother Nature. He said, well, we prefer that you call it God. And understandable, and a Muslim would prefer that you call it Allah. Is it going to make any difference what you do with your life and how you treat other people? I've been through this whole religious grind, and I don't deal with it anymore. You can be what you want, and you can't help but believe what you believe. And beliefs can change. Or they may stay pretty much as similar. A lot of people's beliefs change and they don't even realize it. When you look back 20 years ago and you really ask yourself, you'll notice that the doctrines, the ways you believed about hell, things like that, they've changed. You have to admit it. They've changed. They changed to suit your own opinions. Oh, there's another one. And your own morality. That's what it ends up fitting into, your own morality. Because you think, God must think at least this. Well, I'm thinking what I think you think because I used to think that way. Gotta go, Jimmy the Jet Trail Prophet out. And there we have it, off into the sunset. I don't care if you're religious. I don't care if you say you're gay. I don't care if you're religion. Don't care if you're gay. I don't care if you wear, uh, uh, raise homing pigeons. Just do the good things that you say. I get the heck out of our way. Let's make a better world. A rose is a rose. Nature is nature. Whatever you want to call it. It's your relationship with it can be as real as anybody else that names it anything else. Oop, got another one up there. Let's check it out. Give me the Jetro, probably.